Well, our playoff lives are on the line here. We're going to game six. We are down 2-3 versus the Blue Jays. And we have our ace Shohei Otani on the mound. The Dodgers will await one of us to meet them. Will we have a battle of L.A.? Or will the Blue Jays move on and take care of business at home? Let's find out. Kevin Gosman's on the mound for them. Let's get into it. Let's catch you guys inside. Devoted and hated, I recorded the matrix, I just loaded the bases, and you know I'ma make it. Alright, Kevin Gosman. It's been in two games so far this postseason. He is one another. That's the best ERA has a 4.09. Nine strikeouts though to one walk, and he's giving up 15 hits. Let's see if we can take on one of their better pitchers. Let's go, boys. And as always, Taylor Ward leads us off 265 this postseason. We got a lot of guys that are not batting well at all. And Part of the reason is we get a bad first pitch right there. Yeah, that's part of the reason why we are down 2-3 now. Just do not have guys hitting well for average. Although that can't be the issue you run into. We have a very, very power-heavy lineup as that ball is too high. And striking out early. Taylor Ward goes down. Gosman in the first punch out of the day. Mike Trout is batting 469 this postseason. He's come down a little bit from that 500 clip. He was batting at, and it's going to go down a little bit more. Chapman down that third baseline is going to get Trout out. Yeah, somebody else is not batting well. Shohei is batting 194. I mean, we got a few guys that are just batting in this below 200 range, and it's not what we're looking for, but it doesn't matter when you can send it over the wall. Shohei Otani gives us the lead in the top of the first. Otani blasted one for his third of the postseason. 405 feet, no doubter. I mean, that's how you, you know, can get me to shut up right there about our batting. Just still one right over the wall out there in right field, and we will have no complaints. Let's get it, show, eh? And here's Otani. He's been lights out as a pitcher this postseason. 2-0, ERA under a 1. 17 strikeouts, 3 walks. His whip and ERA are the exact same at .69. I mean, he's been absolutely dominant. Hopefully that continues as Santiago Espinal will lead them off here. And looking for an early punch out. Otani, the one two to Espinal here. He's going to get him. See you later. The slider down at the knees gets Espinal out in front. And that'll be the first strike of the day for Otani. Shohei looking to punch out Vlad now. Can he get him? The 0-2 pitch to him. And he's going to hit it back up the middle. Oh, look at Shohei behind the back, not even looking at it. And he will throw out Guerrero. Okay, Otani. Okay, Otani. I see you, big dog. Mm, just say snatch that. Give me that. Just LeVon Soto. He's batting 280. Home run and three RBIs with seven hits this postseason. And that splitter, boy. He's got a way out in front on that sucker. And oh, Soto! Give him his second! Give him a second! Soto with a solo shot home run. He caught a perfect hit. I think he gave us that splitter again. If it wasn't a splitter, it was definitely a fastball. But it was right there for the taking. And Soto didn't miss it at all. Send us around the bases again, boys. We're up a 2 0. I see you, Soto. I see you. Your little man, hey, he's come to play. He has come to play this postseason, and you love to see it. Hopefully he can build off that, what he's doing into next season. And Renfro, oh, it gets knocked down by Vlad, covering first bases. Gosman to end the top of the third. Oh, a big inning, potentially, but we don't get it. But LeVon Soto does add on another run as we get the solo shot. The 0-2 to our show, looking for a strikeout from Otani. And oh, we honk a curve. You got to be bleeping it. That goes a long way. A straight moonshot from Varsho. 411, 106 off the bat. That curveball missed really badly. And that time we couldn't get away with the with the miss breaking ball pitch. And they cut the lead in half. Got to do better than that if we want to survive. Looking to put him away. The 0-2 from Otani. The limited damage just to one. Oh my goodness, that is an embarrassing swing from Espinal. Way out in front, 2-1 lead. That in the third, but Varsho gets them on the board with the solo shot. And the 0-2 to Rendon now, trying to get something going. And he will smoke one. Oh, he got a perfect hit in his cart. 
by Chapman at third. Oh, boy, just bad luck for Rendon, man. Oh, my goodness. He can't catch a break. 2-1 here, and that won't be hitting the left center field. Can Taylor Ward track it down? He should have the time to get there, and he will for out number one in the bottom of the fourth. He gave us something we can hit. We put it in the right field, and it is a one-out single for LeVon Soto. Got a feeling he might throw that splitter. He's finding a very good spot for it, so that's what kind of weighted back on it. And we're on base as Taylor Ward comes up to bat. And that one we put into right center field. I don't think Springer can get to that one. It's going to drop and be extra bases. We'll have men on second and third with Mike Trump coming up. Is that going to do it for Gosman here in the top of the fifth? I got to imagine they're looking to pull him. They don't want this one to get any worse than what it is. Great job, Taylor Ward. Opposite field hitting. We got a chance for a big inning. And oh, they're going to keep me. Oh, they're going to intentionally walk him to get the show. Hey. Yeah, I mean, you pick your poison here. I mean, I don't blame you. Trump's been raking. But a righty versus lefty matchup might not be fair, but that does keep the double play possibility for the Blue Jays. And Shohei has been in quite a bit of them this year. And that pitch is wildly missed outside. The 2-0. Oh, smack right back up the middle, but it hit off Gosman. Soto's got to get out the way. He's safe. Bases remain loaded. It's smacked right off of Gosman's back. And it extends our lead 3-1, to one and oh my goodness. You know that was not comfortable. Yikes, I don't know what the exit velo on that one was, but oof. Jaws was trying to shake it off, but I think they need to go ahead and pull him anyway, and they will. Despite him potentially being injured, but he right now has been tapped around. And we are looking to blow this one sky high as Renfro comes up to bat to face off the relief pitcher. And old Renfro hits a high fly ball out there into right field. Back goes Springer to the track. That ball's going to die, though. Just misses getting the grand slam. But we will get the sacrifice fly. Taylor Ward comes in to score. Trout moves up to third base. It's a 4-1 game here in the top of the fifth. And Brendan Drury will come up to bat to see if he can add on a little bit more as well. And all Drury doesn't miss it, though. We're not going to get the grand slam, but we'll get the three-run home run instead. Let's go. 7-1 ball game in the top of the fifth. We're not going away that easily, Toronto. We going to a game seven. We going to a game seven. We best believe we will be back. We will be back. That's Drury with a pick bomb. Drury, you pissed me off during the regular season, but right now in this postseason, you are playing phenomenal. Let's go, big dogs. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. And his good day will continue. It will be an extra base hit. That ball drops in between the gap. We're going to weigh the runner home. It's going to be a double for Soto to throw as well offline. It's an 8-1 ball game. We're blowing it up here in Toronto. Soto, second RBI of the day. He's a triple away shy from the cycle. Probably should have kept going there considering they were throwing it home anyway. But it does not matter. We'll take the double as Taylor Ward comes up to bat now. And a 2-2 two -two will be hit into the gap out there for Trout. Trout can't chase it down. That'll play home homer run. Misplayed it. It'll be an RBI double. And it's a 2 game now. It's Bichette. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Let's see if we can keep him that way. And we will not keep him over. They'll bring home their third one. 8-3 now here in the sixth. Tani giving up a few runs here. Another 2-2 two -two to Springer. Got him. See you later. That'll end the sixth. We're headed to the seventh. A couple more innings left, and we can get on to game seven. But we got to keep this lead. And old Renfro has absolutely demolished that fastball. Put it out there into left center field, and we have a 9-3 ball game. His fifth of the postseason. He's absolutely torching it with the long ball. Average-wise could be better. But, hey, he's coming up, and he's in and out of the yard. Like, some of the other guys who aren't batting well, they're not at least... At least Renfro is producing runs when he does get home runs, but yeah, I mean, at least he has that going for him. But the average, like Renfro, I'm not Renfro, like Rendon and some of the other guys down there, Fletcher, like, at least he's hitting it at the ballpark. 
And he will drive one into left center field. His cycle will not happen. And we'll head to the bottom of the eighth. But a great day for Soto all the way around. And a one two to Bichette. Got him. See you later. Two to go. Let's hit the game seven. And it's a grounder. Ringifo has it. Spin throw. Come on. There you go. And Watts is looking to keep him over. The old one. Grounded. Ringifo there at second. That will do it for us. We're headed to game seven. The series stays alive to see who gets to face the Dodgers in the World Series. And we take care of business in a big way. 9-3, Shohei pitched fantastic. Offense came alive yet again. We'll see if we can take care of business versus Blue Jays in Game 7 and get to that World Series, but that will be next time on Monday, everybody. I'm not going to be here for this weekend to be able to post it on Saturday, so we'll have to wait till Monday. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Headed to game number seven. I believe we know who the player of the game. Actually, I don't know who is the player of the game for this one. Let's take a look real quick. And it's going to be LeVon Soto. Soto gets the player of the game. Otani gave us a very good performance. Uh, wasn't, you know, what we normally pitch with Otani, where he's getting, like, all these strikeouts. He was just efficient. And we can't ask for more than that. So, we really appreciate the outing Otani gave us in that one. Probably giving up three runs. But, hey, it's all right, man. You know, offense was there. So, you know, it all worked out. But that is going to do it for us here in this one, you guys. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Give us some feedback. If you guys are enjoying the way we're doing these videos, and if you guys would like me to change it up, just let me know. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you're enjoying the series and not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it as we're on our, to our next journey and to our next milestone, hitting the 750 subs. Of course, the bigger goal is to get to 1,000 and further beyond. If you guys missed any videos, make sure you guys check out the playlist link in the description. Also popping up in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That's going to do it for me, you guys, once again. I'm out to next time, everybody. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Enjoy your weekend. Catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future.